Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Mon Banzu, episode number 25, I believe, or 26. I'm very confused right now. I think it's 25. And uh, yeah, so today's mission is to try and get some of those new parts on the Koenig. Uh, so we're starting the day off at the maple syrup shop, as we realized in the last episode. Uh, maple syrup is still very, very important, even at this point in the game with what we have. Uh, you need to make sure money is always coming in. Uh, so a couple of barrels a day at this stage does you no harm and you never know when an update is going to want a ton of money off us okay all my barrels are falling down here so what we need to do is we're going to pick up a couple of barrels from here and then we're going to buy another barrel that's how i kind of do it i think we could probably pick up five today this one's laying on the floor anyways and then we'll get a new one from inside the shop which is here there we go and we need to buy some uh posts some more wire uh oh sorry there you go you're all in i lift you up a little bit maybe okay well they, they look kind of squeezed in we'll be careful driving home as usual i need some more of these uh we're gonna throw that in there i need some of these Am I gonna get you in? I think they'll be okay. Say hello to our friend. I think two will actually be enough for what we need. So overall, uh, if we look at the money, I've spent about five grand on all the new bits so far, not including what we can get from the other guy. Of course, uh, we're only another day in, so it's only Tuesday at the moment. I'd quite like to try and get what we can done on the Koenig. Oh, wow. Look at the weather. I don't think I've ever seen this misty before. Uh, I, I do want to uh, go and maybe try and race tonight with whatever new additional parts we put on the Koenig. Uh, just to see how fast we can actually go. Drop off some weed to everybody. Uh, and keep making friends because you never know when that's going to be really important. Uh, we can also fuel from here anytime. So I'm not worried about fuel as much as I used to be. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll bring them uh, a couple of packets. Okay, we'll just have a chat with him. Can I drive this thing? No. I'm already 100% with Norman, so it's okay. Not much we can do with him. I could buy the engine again. Don't know what the need would be for it, but we could. Nothing else new. I mean, we could bring the seat back. Uh, you know what, why not? I'm so going to lose that on the way home. I'm going to buy maple syrup just to drink. And yeah, I think we're all good. Uh, so we're going to head home now and start working on our car. So I'm going to see you back at the garage. So we're back home. I only lost the chair in the back like four times. It wasn't so bad. Okay, we've got the underbody glow kit here as well. You can put that there. Okay, shut the door. So we're going to take all that stuff up there tonight. Uh, we painted it. Ah, I didn't get the yellow for that. I knew I forgot something today. Okay, first things first then. Let's have a look at this car. What can we get done with it? What can we do that's new? Um... Obviously, we know that the seats can be uh, stripped out of here now, so maybe we'll start with that. We've got the one comfy seat, so there you go. We're going to see the bolts that way. There we have it. So let's start with the strip. I'm going to place my bolt because uh, people are getting annoyed with me throwing them. <laughs> Okay, there's two of you. Let's throw you on the floor for a second. How do I get you to go the other way? There we go. There we go, there's our two bolts. So that's going to shed some weight. So that's going to be good for speed. Okay, you're out. I'm just going to put you in the far corner for the minute. Can I take the rears out? Uh, I forgot what the crash button was then. 
Okay, so it doesn't look like the rear can be removed at the present moment, can it? Uh, not what I can see at the moment. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. What are you? You're just a load of bolts on the floor. No. Nope. That's going to be for the shock. Oh, we could put shocks away round. I shouldn't have just bought two. I needed four. Damn you. Damn you. Okay. We've got to take this chair out. Because uh, we're going to put in our new sports chair. And off camera, I will pick all these up, obviously, at some point. Make it look nice. I haven't seen the thing for the airbag yet. I mean, I suppose if we have the sports car, it's not such a big deal. Because it's not going to have an airbag, is it, if we put that wheel on? Maybe that that's what that's for now. Okay, let's leave that like that. Next thing I want to tackle is this. I am expecting two screws. But it's telling me maybe there's only one. Nice. Okay, another dead part. Uh, I can't believe I didn't think about it. I'm only thinking about the front. What a noob. Okay, so I do need to get some more. You know what? Why don't we use some coloured ones? We have all the colours in the world. What what colours do we have? I think I've lost some of my... Uh... Interesting. Uh... Let's go for some yellow ones in the engine bay. Okay. That's the ABS fixed. Hmm. There's no way to lift the car up, do we? Ooh. Where did this shelf come from? This is new. Okay, um... What is the best way to do this? Now, I'm assuming that the rear one's gonna go... That's the front. So what this is supposed to go over is these. So I'll have to unscrew them. Um, but that's also going to change the suspension anyways. So let's pull you out. Let's pull you out. That'll be what I'm going to need next. Or do we just take the whole engine out first? Put the other engine in? How easy are you going to be to disconnect? I don't need bolts for that. I mean, this could be easy, or this could be a nightmare. So we'll put the, the struts in both sides of the front. And we won't do the rears today. We'll have to go back up to the shop and buy the other stuff that I'm missing. But it's okay. That means uh, we'll make more videos out of it on this series. Okay, so that's all down. Let's pull you off. Um, yeah, I'm surprised we don't have some sort of jack or anything yet. We could definitely do with it. Hmm. Just realized that this disc will come off first. I forgot that this is the oh, strange way around of doing it. And the Oh, oh, that's for the camber. 
Didn't see any new ones of them actually. That's cool. So we can put a, a funky camber on this now as well. Let's put you here. Take you off. Uh -huh. There you go. There's that strut. Pick up our new strut. Apparently throw it into the engine because that's what we do. There we go. We're not going to put this on to last because like I said, this should sit across the engine. Like so. I believe. Uh, thinking do we just take off the other side first, make sure there's no issues. Nope, don't need you yet. Won't be long though. Or it'll get too dark. Okay, that's all of them out. Okay, all of it fell off. Um, probably don't actually need to remove that then. No, we do. Okay. Oh yeah, look. Caliper can actually stay on. No? Okay. It's all coming off. You know why? Because we didn't undo these. Okay. Lovely. Let's go out of shock. Let's have a little look under here. Also, there's going to be more mechanical parts that can be changed that the other guy has. Like, so we might end up pulling this apart and then have to do it all over again. Okay, we need the tires on. I won't be able to tell from here. Now, what about this engine? Is it literally just going to be mounted onto this mount? Okay, and then if I take off the manifold, we should be all good. I'll just take that off. Oh. Oh, oh, literally, it all just falls out. Okay. <laughs> oh, crap. Transmissions. All in. Okay, we'll get you back in in a minute. It's a pretty cool uh, screenshot, in all fairness. Okay, let's get you in. Because I believe this bar will then sit on top before we put the screws in. Yeah. Just like that. And then we'll put the engine in. Boom. Okay, where's those yellow pack of nuts? Am 
I need to get these all out. Okay. Now I've just got to remember to use the bloody things. Hang on. You need to come out. You should go back in. Mm, maybe not until everything's bottled in. Yeah, there's a lot of concentration going on here. If you're wondering why it's so silent, I'm trying not to be, but... Things to think about here. Okay, you'll go on to there. I want to keep my yellow theme, so we have to buy up all the other ones we see and keep replacing bolts as they come. I don't want to mix the colours in here, I don't think. Got one bolt left. Okay, you're in, you're in, you're in. You should just literally go on top. And put the old bolts back in. Is that absolutely everywhere? I put you down, I need to check. Is it three? One, two, three. Okay, it looks like it is three. All these other bolts between it. I can never tell now. Okay. So the suspension's done. Why do you not want to go on? Is it because of the underneath situation? All right. Let's start putting the wheels back together then for now. And again, it looks like we will take it all apart again uh, once we pick up the other parts. Right. And I still need rear sport calipers as well. How can I reach my spanner? My spanner spazzed out here. What the hell's happened? Dun, 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 dun. Is it gonna let me go under the car? Okay, pretty sure my spanner is now crapped out, uh, which isn't going to do us any favours because that means I need to go to the shop. That shuts in an hour. Bugger. Okay, guys, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go do the maple syrup for the evening and I'm going to get back to you in the morning at the shop. Good morning, everyone. And yep, we're back here doing what we always do, dropping off the maple syrup. So yeah, the, the span is still glitched out. I checked this morning. I did a few barrels of maple syrup. I didn't do too much. Uh, I need to bring some of these barrels back with me today. I didn't even connect up any more trees last night. Uh, we kind of went to bed after we'd done that. Uh, we filled up a few barrels and that was about it really. So what I want to do, uh, now that we have this opportunity, one, to get the spanner, but two, I'm going to get the other shock absorbers for the rear. 
and it makes sense that we just do the whole car in this episode so you know it might be a little bit longer than normal hopefully you guys will hang around uh, if you've got to this stage well done and uh, there's still lots to come especially if you want to learn how to rebuild that car so we're going to go into the shop i'm going to buy some yellow paint as well and by the time we've done this so the next episode we're getting around uh we'll probably if we can get the koenig finished in this day i'll do a day where we go up to the junkyard just in case there's something new we could always go check out the cottage in case something there is new as well because uh, we i don't know I, you know i haven't worked out where everything is as of yet uh, so let's get some fuel it'd be nice if we can get the koenig finished oh. peasant fuel yes 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 real fuel uh, it'd be nice if we could uh, get the koenig at least finished and maybe even race today but if not we'll race tomorrow after the junkyard in case there's nothing much up there we see how we go okay that's full nice 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 i got a good relationship with these guys it's at max so again no point really selling the weed but we'll just keep talking to them yay they're all right aren't they they're all right Okay, let's take one of these just because it's open. Okay, so we want a pair of these now for the rear. I'm assuming they're not they're the same. You know, in real life, the rears are smaller generally uh, and can be different depending on the, the car. Normally, it's just a spring that kind of goes in, but we'll see what happens. Maybe the rears cannot be done. I, I didn't even check, but they must be able to be. Uh, if not we've got a pair of spares and this is what I really need this bloody spanner Ooh. completely missed the door let's put it in the trunk uh, for safety okay now that we've done all that I'm gonna head home and we're gonna continue with the car so we're back home I have a spanner that works I hope and uh, we can ooh, start putting the car back together now I had a feeling yeah one did go in there we go Get you in, let's pick you up. Nice. Uh, gotta drop you down. Gotta get you back on. And then you. There we go. Now we're lifted up a little bit again. We need to get some black bolts or something for these. So it shouldn't be too much work really, uh, once we've done all this front stuff, it's just a case of connecting the manifold, exhaust, uh, manifold, exhaust, gearbox, differential again, because it's all probably falling off underneath. But that means the front is done. I'm just going to put you down for a second. Uh, we need you. Oh. Okay, nice. You do have two bolts to yourself, though. Nice. Okay, that one's on. Okay, you're on. You and you. Now, the last puzzle, the front, is uh, the sway bar as well as that gearbox, you know. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to put you down for a second. Actually, no. Manifold needs to go on that. There we go.
Manifold is on. I'll drop you on the floor. I want the front sway bar. We should be able to do that underneath the car as well at the same time here. Okay, so this is the sway bar. Generally, it's only held on by one or two bolts. Bloody track right in. Where are you? Bugger, I think I took off the wrong bolt. Okay. How are you coming off? Could be a case. Ah, I can see the bolts now. Where's my adjustable spanner? I believe it's these bad boys that are. Okay, one rusty sway bar. Where is my spanner? There you go. And one sway bar done. Oh no. Okay, so this exhaust needs to come off. So you'd be two bolts now. And you're being held on here at the back. Get you off. Now this back box should just come off. No, nope, it's got more bolts. One. Okay, I didn't take them out enough. <laughs> okay, you're done. Oh, there's some poutine on the floor. Okay. Leave it close enough to the floor for me. That'd be good. The exhaust is separate, but we do want this to be kind of close down here too. Like that. Let's get back on our creeper. Okay, adjustable spanner. Is that diff already out? That engine doesn't even look in properly, does it? Okay. Put you down for a second. I want the gearbox.
Nice. Adjustable spanner, please. Are you here somewhere? I really don't think we're too far away now, guys. That should be six bolts. No, not on you. Now, are you on? I'd say you're on. And you need to connect to the diff. Uh, you're already on. I have to do nothing with you. Something. Okay, now I need the exhaust. You're in. Find my spanner. Get you in. Okay, another bolt here for you. Pretty sure there was one on this side before. There is. You're in. Let's pick you up. Any more for you? No, nope. we can just put that bat box on here now. That looks pretty damn sweet, that bat box. It's not a bad motor. Okay, you're in, you're in, you're in. Righty. Now we've got the rear and it is the same kind of strut. That is all in. Okay. That is something. Now onto the rear. Like I said off camera, what I'll do, I will sort out all these nuts and bolts, pick them all up at some point. Maybe before the next episode, we'll see. And um, park all the cars nicely in here. I forgot the yellow spray paint again, didn't I? God's sake. Okay, it's already nearly 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Time flies when you're having fun. Okay, let's pull you off. Uh, you should just come off. Let's get to you. You down, take you off. Still want the sports caliper for the back as well. We need to get that at some point. Okay, let's have a look in here. Three bolts in here again. Okay, another load of rubbish. Maybe we can take it to the scrapyard. Do we get any money? We'll put it in the trailer. Maybe that's what we'll do with it all. Ah, here are my new shocks. Oh. Nice. Okay, I'm going to half build this because uh, what we need to do is the other side to put the thing on the back. Uh, 
uh, before we finish and put the wheels on. Right, that's the big nut. Okay, that's pretty much you done for a minute. Let's go to this side. And wheel off. Right caliper off. Okay, back into the boot. We've got three bolts in here. That the car is so low, I can't even get to. Oh. Oh, you know what? The wheel can go on. What am I saying? It's only the bit inside that can't go on. It might just give me enough height to pull out those other bolts. I should have taken all the top ones off at the same time. So if any of you are doing this after me, take both of the rears off at the same time. Okay, you're done. There we go. Can I actually see them now? Okay, another piece of rubbish. Okay, wheel hub on, spanner But yeah, we definitely need the performance calipers for the rear. Okay. Let's put you down, pick you up, put you on. Okay, nice. So all that stuff's on, that means we can now put the bar on here at the top. Get our spanner.
Okay, just three there. Okay, all that first bit is done. Uh, all it is now is that sway bar. Let's have a little nosy in here. Okay, there it is. Oh, didn't mean to throw that one. Okay, let's pick up that. Okay, my adjustable spanner. Where the hell did you go? Interesting. Don't tell me I've lost another spanner. All this junk come off this car. Definitely has to go to the scrapyard. That's what we can do for tomorrow's episode. We'll put it in the uh, all in the in the um, the trailer, and we're going to go to the scrapyard. Okay, I need a bolt from out here because I threw one. Done. I feel like this thing eats them. Yeah, let's put you up here so I know you're safe. Okay, poutine. I'm gonna eat you. Hit a maple syrup. Nice. Okay, so we've got a few things to do then. How do I put you on? Does anyone have a clue? Okay, there doesn't seem to be a way to open it. Hmm. What else we got? Steering wheel. Let me think the finish and the seat. More scrap. How do I put this underglow crap on? Bugging me. I'll press E. Must go somewhere. No idea right now. Get the comfy chat. So we're only going to race. Uh, we're only going to drive around with the one chair. It's not like we have AI to worry about. Light the car, the faster the speed, and all that. Hopefully, there's going to be like roll cages and stuff. Maybe in the future, we can maybe remove the rear seating and all that kind of stuff. That'd be pretty cool. A couple more bolts. I wonder if my man will notice it's comfier. Ugh. I 
just don't know what to do with you. Do I have to be under the car? There must be something it wants me to do. Crap. Well, now it's not stuck. No. Okay, if we move the car, it'll show back up, right? Okay, so the next big question is, what color would we go? I'll spray two panels, and I'm going to let you guys decide. We're going to go for a lovely jet black. Or are we going to go for a nice white car? So, what do you guys think? White or black? Now, the black would be nice if we do have underglow. I'm not saying that I know what I'm doing with that, though. Uh... First time turning them back on. Where's my key? Oh wow. This thing might be insane. Does this have to go inside the car? On underglow. Hopefully, it's not a bug. Or maybe I'm being retarded. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem obvious. Okay, so for this episode, we are going to take this for a race. We have to, don't we? I'm just going to take some coffees. I've got a radio to sell. There's more coffee in here. It means there's going to be no maple syruping tonight, but hey ho. Uh, I needed to water the plants. No, nope. yeah, no. Nope. Maybe. The growing side of things seems to have changed a little bit now as well. Like the potatoes used to be sprouting a lot bigger than that by now. So I do wonder. Okay, it is evening time. You know what? I've got a big boy pack in the car there, but they probably want small packs because they're only kids. Uh, so let's just grab a couple of these. And then we're going to go see how lethal this car actually is going to be. don't understand what I'm I want those neo lights to work I'm not sure what I've got to do maybe I'll bring them with me just never know if any of you know in the comments down below what I'm doing wrong let me know because these would be wicked if I knew what I was doing Yeah, no idea. Ah, 
done it. Now oh, does my car need to be on? Oh my god. That is wicked. Yes. Best part we've done yet. So if anyone's wondering what you need to do with that, that is exactly what you need to do with that. <laughs> Get inside your car. Okay. Now we've looked the part. Uh, put it in forward. Whoa. This car is a beast now. I don't want to die on the way there. I feel like this is a game that could do a permadeath as an option, just for a bit of fun. Oh, I didn't change the campers either. Oh, the ABS kicked in then. You see the light flashing? That's cool. Yeah, the I didn't change the camber, so we can make it look even cooler yet, but that is for another day. Hello to our friends. I wish we could bet more as well. I mean, come on. How can you not be in love with my car a little bit? I feel like we should keep it green. But just get it all matching green. Oof. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And there's still more parts that we can add to this yet. There you go, 16 seconds, best time yet. And there's still more upgrades available for this car. That's absolutely insane. I actually can't change gears quick enough. Absolutely insane. Was that a friend here? No. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave the episode there. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, so it's kind of like a tutorial on how to put a lot of parts in. Uh, next episode we're going to go up to the junkyard, see if there's anything new. And if not, we will hopefully have our friend here and he'll have some new goodies for us. That'll be the plan. Uh, if you're enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below. Hit the bell icon for notifications, upload it every single day. Let me know if you still want me to continue with uh, On Banku. And I'm for myself, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.